Hello, I'm Vinod Prabhu and welcome to your channel Seven Sense Aptitude Prep. Today we are going to look at the topic known as calendars. Calendars is a topic that uh, is easy, very very easy to solve if you know the concepts and uh, it is very very uh, bewildering, or very very confusing if you do not know the concepts. So what we do is we spend time on concepts, we start off from the absolute basics and move on to the different types of questions, we look at uh, the the conventional way of solving it we look at the shortcuts and we look at exceptions so watching all these videos on calendars that we have put in this playlist you will get to solve every question in any exam 100 percent of the time okay spend time watch all those videos do not skip even if they are basic to begin with it uh, goes on to progressively difficult concepts and questions spend time and uh, success is 100 percent guaranteed We'll start off with something known as concepts. Okay, the importance of the topic being it is going to be asked in competitive exams and uh, not knowing the concepts makes it uh, very, very difficult to solve. Okay, what sort of questions come here? Questions that would come here um, would be what day is 13th May of 1921? Without knowing the concepts, it's next to impossible to solve it uh, in the time that is given. Okay, so there are two approaches. One is the conventional approach uh, that we will tell you and doing this will ensure even the exceptions are uh, solved accurately. The other is the shortcut approach. You will get to know both. Look at both the approaches and see which approach suits you after you watch all the videos and then solve all the questions using that approach only. Do not try to solve some questions in one and then a few other questions in the other approach. That might be confusing. We will give you both the approaches see both and then select one okay so what is a calendar if you look at a typical calendar what are the things that you will see you will see the year you will see months you will see weeks and you will see days okay that is what uh, you will see but when you look at the year there are two types of years right ordinary and leap hmm? so what is the difference between an ordinary and a leap year for a year you look at the last two digits right so look at the last two digits if they were they are divisible by four then it is a leap year so look at any particular year 1924 look at these two digits divided by four so it is six with a remainder of zero if the remainder is zero then it is a leap year and just a small thing the remainder is to be written like this, right? This is when you tell someone that they have to do something, you remind someone. So this is the correct way to write remainder. So if the last two digits were divis uh, divided by four, leaves zero as the remainder, then it is a leap year. How often do they repeat? It repeats once every four years, except in one circumstance, of the century year which i will come to in the later part of this slide okay ordinary and leap divide the last two digits by four if the remainder is zero don't worry about the, um, anything else just look at the remainder if it is zero then it's a leap year number of days in an ordinary year ordinary year it is 365 sorry 365 in the leap year it is 366. There's one extra year in a leap year. And where, where does that extra day go? Every other month has the same number of days except Feb. Here has 28. Here Feb has 29. The number of weeks in each ordinary year has 365 days, which is 52 into 7 plus 1. And leap year is 52 into 7 plus 2 okay 52 full weeks and then another day leap year is 52 full weeks and two more days okay now there's something known as a century year so we said that if you divide the last two digits by four if it uh, has a zero as a remainder it is leap century years are years which the last two digits are zero so you have 1600 century year 1700 century year 1800 century years how do you know which are the leap years for century years? If the last two digits are zero, last two have to be zero, you divide it by 400. 
when you divide it by 400 if the remainder is 0 then leap this is ordinary 1800 when you divide by 400 remainder ordinary 1900 when you divide by 400 there is a remainder ordinary 2000 by 400 no remainder it is leap so that's the exception for every other year we divide by 4 if there is no remainder it is a leap for the century years it divided by 400 if there is no remainder then it is leap classify as leap and non-leap 1917 you will take these two 17 by 4 leaves a remainder of one non-leap which is ordinary so non-leap and ordinary are used interchangeably it means the same okay there's nothing special about a leap year it just used to uh, differentiate ordinary is the same as non-leap 1954 when you divide by 4 13 is 52 2 is the remainder non-leap okay so we in, in these videos we'll call it as ordinary year and leap year okay so that's the terminology we will follow 1984 divide 84 by 4 that's 21 with a remainder of 0, it's a leap year. 2074 divide 74 by 4, it's 18 with a remainder of 2, ordinary year. Okay, non leap. 1700 and 1800, these are century years, you divide by 400. Both of these leave a remainder, here the remainder is 100, here the remainder is 200. So this is ordinary year. 2000 and 2100 divided by 400. Okay. Here there is no remainder. 0. Here there is a remainder of 100. So this is a leap year. It's an ordinary year. Okay. So we looked at. This is just to set some context. This is just like a warm up in, uh, in, in a sport. You get to know what the terms are become comfortable you stretch so this is like the stretch exercise for calendars uh, if you liked the stretch and the warm-up uh, request you to look at the other videos in this playlist which is where the actual rigor and the difficulty level starts and please click the thumbs up sign and show us your love there as, in, as well as in the comment section share it with your friends because the calendar topic uh, is a topic that is interesting for everyone you can also use it to um, show off in front of your younger uh, siblings and cousins you know, click on the subscribe button and uh, the bell icon and if you need more practice please visit uh, sevensensestand.com sign up there and uh, the video and this um, channel there's a video that shows about the how you can sign up and practice as much as you can okay thank you so much for your time see you soon